guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first advice video that I told you guys I will be doing. Um, so my advice videos are going to be every Wednesday, which is pretty darn exciting. So I thought that that would be a nice video for me to do as, as my weekly videos. So yay, I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Tuesday and now I have Advice Wednesday or whatever you guys have not gave me a creative name I don't think so definitely leave me a creative name for these videos I guess for now I'm just gonna call them um like I'm just gonna you know instead of like putting advice Wednesdays or something I'm just gonna put basically what I'm giving you advice on but yeah until I get another name for it I will you just basically use the name that I'm gonna be giving you the advice for also I have frontness fitness Fridays so yay but anyways um this video is going to be advice on how to get into the holiday spirit I know many people well I don't know but not many people are really super into the Christmas spirit um you know you might just be like eh I'm okay about it but there's some people out there that just really don't like Christmas I mean they celebrate it they like it but they don't and they like they don't enjoy it so I'm just going to um, give you guys some tips. Actually, I'm giving you um, 10 tips on how to enjoy or how to get into the Christmas spirit. And it's a week, literally, like right now, it is a week before Christmas Day, which is completely exciting. I cannot wait till Christmas Day. And honestly, I'm really happy to be making a Christmas haul. And it's going to be amazing. So anyways, like I said, if you are in the if you aren't in the Christmas spirit, this video might help you. And these are my personal opinions. Please don't tell me that my opinions suck or something because we all have opinions. We all have our own, you know, opinions and beliefs on things. So, this is just my opinion on like certain like when I do advice videos, those will be my opinions on those certain subjects. And my friends tell me all the time that I give the best advice in the world, like no kidding. Um, most of my comes, my, most of my friends come to me for boyfriend advice, for, um, like, big decisions, and if you, like, if you're someone, if you're someone, like, your friend comes to you for your advice, it actually makes you feel really, really good that your friends come to you for advice, and it's, like, a part of a big decision or something. To me, that just makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like I'm actually being useful or meaningful for my, to my friends, but anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope you guys, if you're not in the Christmas spirit, really hope this helps you get into the Christmas spirit. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is find one goal you want to accomplish before Christmas. Um, I really don't go by this rule, but I always, like, I normally don't follow this rule just because there's normally a ton of things that I have to do around this time of year. I have to put up Christmas trees, decorations, I have to go shopping, I have to, you know, create a wish list. I have to do all this stuff that I, um, like if you know there's stuff to, if you know there's stuff to do during Christmas time, I feel like that's a good way to get into the Christmas spirit is that you know that you have stuff to look forward to, like put up the Christmas tree or put up decorations or something like that. But what I mean by it is finding one go to accomplish before Christmas is like, you know, if you if you guys like if you and your family actually get real Christmas trees, um, as a Christmas tree, you guys you some of you can um actually get involved if you're just like that type of person that like, you know, just puts your music in your ear, uh, like put your listen to your music and doesn't really get involved with picking out a Christmas tree or like Christmas lights or something. You guys can get yourself involved with your family. Um, that can get you in the Christmas spirit because it'll grow you closer to your family. And then helping others, which like buying gift for Toy for Tots, that can get you in the Christmas spirit for buying, uh, you know, going shopping for others, seeing all the Christmas cheer around, um, or donating to the Salvation Army. There's a lot of charities here in my, like, here where I live. There's so many charities that you can, like, buy gifts for, donate for, and that gets me in the holiday spirit because I know I'm helping others, and there's not, and there's going to be kids that are less fortunate getting things because of me. That makes me feel really, really good, and it makes me feel really great. Um, I normally don't buy toys for tots. I normally do the Salvation Army. If you guys, like, if your, like, state or something does Salvation Army, it's basically where these people, like, volunteer to stand out and ring a jingle bell at Walmart. Um, I normally always 
please donate donate in that because it's really easy. It's like you know, it's pretty much easy to do. All you have to do is like drop in a dollar before you go into Walmart. So that's pretty easy and it's really quick and fast and. That's what I mostly do. Every Christmas is donate to that. So just find a goal to accomplish. Like it can be with your family. It can do with helping others. And just stick to it and accomplish it before Christmas. You know, obviously, you know, you don't want to do it after Christmas because it will, like, it wouldn't be a way to get in the Christmas spirit because it would be after Christmas. But anyways, just make a goal um, to accomplish. It cannot deal with you. Like it can't go out and buy, you know, it can't go out and get, like, a, you know, a, like, like, you can't go out, you can't, you can't, like, make it, like, you cannot make the goal about yourself. It can't go out and get a pedic pedicure. Make it, like, um, and make a goal with your family or make a goal with helping others, and that will definitely get you in the Christmas spirit. Number two, make a Christmas wish list for yourself, family, and friends. I feel like that gets some people in the Christmas spirit because if you're doing it for yourself, duh, obviously, people are going to be like, oh, I want this, I want that, I want that. And the anticipation of getting what you want for Christmas is pretty fun. And also going shopping for your friends and family. Making a wish list for them is pretty great too. You guys can go shopping for them. You guys can wrap presents, which can, which can bring your family together. If you guys wrap presents together, it can, um, you know, make you happy seeing all the Christmas decorations around in your mall or something. Something. So definitely make a wish list for your friends and family and see how that goes. Number three, listen to Christmas music. Christmas music always makes me happy. And Christmas music just gets me in the spirit. Like that is one of the first things that I do once the Christmas season opens up is listen to Christmas music. It's literally something that I can listen to for hours and hours and never get tired of. I can listen to Christmas music in the summer, which is pretty crazy. But um, I love Christmas music. It always makes me happy and it always makes me really excited for Christmas. Um, so if you're not really a big Christmas person type, um, I do recommend two songs to help you get into the Christmas spirit. It's Ariana Grande's Last Christmas and uh, Mariah Carey's Last Chris or not Last Christmas, All I Want for Christmas. And you guys know that I love, love the classical um, Christmas songs like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Snow, uh, Let It Snow. And uh, Rockin' on the Christmas Tree and Jingle Bells. I love those types of songs made by the classical people, like, a long time ago. Um, but Arna Grande's Last Christmas and Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is definitely one of those um, newer songs, newer Christmas songs that I do recommend. And they're really upbeat, and they make me really happy. Like, Last Christmas by Arna Grande is way better than the classical version. It's just amazing. Number four, get your nails done or do them yourself. That might sound a little selfish, but doing your nails for the Christmas time or getting them done is really cute and it's really festive. You guys can tell that I did mine and they're super cute. I am in love with my nails. It's basically like red with a gold um, ring finger. Like it's on my both ring fingers and it's really adorable and I love it and it's really festive. So I mean it doesn't have to be extravagant. It can just be simple like mine or like it can be like red and green or just plain old red. Just paint your nails it will get you happy. And yeah it's festive and it's cute. And actually someone commented on my nails last weekend because I had like red... I have like red, green sparkles, red, green sparkles, and that, and sometimes when someone compliments you about your nails, it makes you really happy, it made me really happy, but I really like mine, and I think it's adorable, so just do your nails, get them done, make it festive, if you do them Christmas style, they'll make you really, it make you in the spirit, so definitely try that, um, number five, gift, give gifts to your friends, it makes you happy to make others happy, that's just me anyways, when I gave Reagan's gift to her Monday, it made really it made me really happy to know that I gave her a gift and she, you know, that's something that she really wanted and it made me really happy to give it to her because she she looked happy, which made me happy. So, give a gift to one of your friends, give a gift to your best friend, go get something that's your best friend that you know that your best friend would love and watch them open it because it will make you feel so great. It will make you just feel so good once Christmas day rolls around. And then you can see all the other people opening up your gifts that you bought for them. And it's going to make you so happy with so much joy in you. So just give a gift to one of your friends. <clears throat> Number six, wrap gifts and shop with family. Shopping with family is one of my favorite ways to actually, um, like, to, like, you know, like, bond with my family is to shop with my family. Because then it just, like, 
bonding and shopping with family is one of my two favorite words, like, put together. Uh, because, like, when you're shopping with your family, it is, like... I don't know, it just makes me really happy. So, gift wrap and shop with family. Because that would make you bond with your family. And gift wrapping can actually give you good gift wrapping skills. Because this year, I am blowing up with good wrapping skills. Bam! But, um, sorry. Um, just wrap presents. It'll make you really happy. Especially if you're obsessed with, oh, especially if you're obsessed with Christmas paper like me. Um, but it also gets you into the spirit of giving gifts as well. Number seven, throw a Christmas party. Throw an ugly Christmas sweater party. You know, just host a party where all these people are around you that are happy and it's going to make you happy. And if you actually throw a party yourself and you host it and everyone comes and you host it yourself, you do everything yourself, it will make you feel really happy and it will make you feel really accomplished. So definitely throw a Christmas party. Number nine, watch Christmas movies. That is one. Of my, that is also one of my favorite things to do when Christmas movies actually start. You guys can watch the ABC Family Christmas Countdown to Christmas. That's pretty amazing. Um, there's like Polar Express was on last night and uh, Santa Claus 3, I believe. So watching Christmas movies definitely makes me feel so good inside. It makes me feel so warm and so fuzzy. It makes me feel such, it makes me feel in the mood for Christmas, which is a really good feeling. Especially for me because I'm obsessed with Christmas. But Christmas, like literally Christmas movies are the best next thing to the Christmas songs. So definitely try watching Christmas movie, Christmas movies with your family. If you're wanting some Christmas movie examples, The Grinch is a really good one. Um, it really ex really describes the meaning of Christmas. And the second one is definitely the Santa Claus. All the second, all the first, second, and third Santa Clauses. Those are always the best. And the third favorite movie that I cannot, I mean, it's not my favorite, but I just cannot go a year without watching it is definitely The Polar Express. It's just a really humble movie. And if you watch it with your family, it's really sweet. And something else that I haven't watched in a while, but I really want to watch, is Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's a really good movie. It's really sweet and humble as well. So try those four movies and tell me if you enjoyed them. And question of the day, tell me your guys' favorite Christmas movie and or Christmas song. All right, let's move on. Number nine, make a Christmas countdown or use your calendar. If you guys can see my calendar, um, it's right there. But um, every every time Christmas rolls around, I uh, mark off the days, obviously, but I use red and green. I alternate red and green every day, so which is pretty cool. It gets me more excited for Christmas. Also, my bulletin board over there, I have like that one over, like the big one and then the little one. Um, the little one, I basically write down Merry Christmas and how many more days we have left till Christmas, which is pretty cool. Also, if you do not have a calendar or you don't want to buy one or if you don't have a marker board, you, I mean, you don't want to buy one, get a Christmas ornament that counts down to Christmas or you guys can get the app on your phone that counts down to certain events and you guys can do that. So basically just count down to Christmas because it will make you feel really excited. It makes me really feel, feel really excited. So definitely just get like a Christmas countdown or something started. The next thing is number 10. Let yourself be happy and let yourself enjoy the giving and receiving of the holiday. Sometimes I feel like people, um, this is definitely like, this is definitely a problem with some of my friends. Like I'm one of the most sensitive people in the world. Like I literally, I'm such a loving person. Like, I, I'm so sensitive with my friends. I'm so humble with my friends. Like, I love mushy moments, especially, like, I sent this, I sent Thanksgiving, te I sent out Thanksgiving texts to all of my friends that are really close to me, and I'm just a really sensitive person. Like, all those texts were really humble and really sincere and really sensitive. I'm a really sensitive person. I love, even though this is, like, I love mushy moments between friends because it just makes me feel really happy so I know some people are the complete opposite they're so hard they're like a rock they have no bit of sensitivity in them they really don't have a bit of feeling in them um they're not really mushy people um and some people like that don't allow themselves to be happy and sometimes that can create a problem, especially around the Christmas time when Christmas is supposed to be full of joy and happiness. So just let yourself be happy for one Christmas and see how it goes. There's some people out there that actually doesn't have great Christmases, but just let yourself be happy. No matter if it's a bad or good Christmas, just let yourself be happy and know this is a great day for, gift, for giving and receiving. 
and you gotta know, you gotta know, you just have to, and that is one day out of the complete whole year that I can actually be super selfish. I know that kind of sounds like what, Grace? But I can actually be super selfish on Christmas Eve I'm, or Christmas Day. I'm really selfish. Like, there's times where I get really selfish and I'm just like, wow, Grace, that was really selfish. But Christmas Day is the one day out of the year that I can be really selfish. Like, I have my moments where I can be really selfish, which is when I'm opening, I'm opening my gifts. So just remember, just let yourself be happy during Christmas. And, you know, just let yourself know, hey, I'm going to be I'm gonna be giving gifts to people that I love. I'm going to be getting gifts from people that I love. So just, just let yourself be happy. Let yourself enjoy the Christmas cheer. And the last thing is happy holidays and Merry Christmas. I love you guys so much. And I'm sorry if you guys do not celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. Just happy any holiday that you celebrate for Christmas. I love you guys so much. I really hope you like this video. Like I said, give me a name for these Advice Wednesdays. But for right now, I just basically will put the title of the video of the title of the advice I'm giving you, I guess. So, comment down below for more advice videos. I have some more planned, um, like how to get through middle school, how to stay positive when in the hospital slash being sick. So, those probably will come sooner or later. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys later. Bye!